This is Georgia, not to be confused with the state of Georgia. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're exploring a captivating European gem that seamlessly weaves together ancient history, rich culture, and awe-inspiring landscapes. Stick until the end to unravel the secrets behind Georgia's uniquely Christian art and architecture. The country of Georgia is situated in the Caucasus region, located at the crossroads between Europe and Asia. Bordered by Russia, Turkey, Armenia, and Azerbaijan, Georgia occupies a strategic position along the corridor between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. Georgia's diverse landscape ranges from coastal plains along the Black Sea to forested foothills and the Greater Caucasus Mountains. The climate varies from humid subtropical on the coast to alpine in the mountains. The Caucasus Mountains divide Georgia into eastern and western halves with distinct climate patterns. The major geographic regions of Georgia are the western lowlands feature temperate forests, rolling farmland, viticulture regions, and the harbors of Poti and Batumi. This is the most populated part of Georgia. The eastern mountains and valleys are more rugged and isolated, home to unique towns and the wine-growing region of Kakheti. High mountain passes connect east and west Georgia, these autonomous republics occupy areas along the Black Sea coast with distinct local cultures. This mountainous region bordering Russia has been at the center of Georgia's territorial disputes and conflicts. Georgia's main rivers are the Matkvari and Rioni, flowing westward into the Black Sea. The vast majority of rivers originate in the Caucasus Mountains. Notable lakes include Paravani and Tabatskuri in the south. The capital Tbilisi, located in the eastern heartland, has over one million inhabitants. Other important cities include the Black Sea ports of Batumi and Poti, Kutaisi in West Georgia, and Telavi in the winemaking Kakheti region. The earliest civilizations emerged in the land of present-day Georgia around the 6th century BC, including the kingdoms of Colchis and Iberia. These kingdoms were mentioned in Greek mythology and developed distinct local cultures while maintaining ties with the wider Greek world. Georgia's coastline along the Black Sea was an important region for trade and commerce in the ancient era. Georgia adopted Christianity as a state religion in the 4th century AD, giving rise to a distinct Georgian Christian identity. The Bagrationi dynasty rose to prominence in the 8th century and would rule Georgia for over a millennium, overseeing a golden age of art, literature and architecture. However, they also faced repeated invasions by the Mongols, Persians and Ottomans throughout the medieval period, leading to instability and warfare. After a series of wars with the Persian and Ottoman empires, Georgia was annexed by the Russian Empire in the early 19th century, though it maintained its Christianity and cultural traditions. It was ruled by Moscow as a Russian province for over a century. Georgia briefly gained independence after the 1917 Russian Revolution, but was invaded by the Red Army and absorbed into the Soviet Union in 1921. As part of the Soviet Union, it underwent industrialization and economic development, but also experienced Stalinist repression. As the USSR unraveled, Georgia declared independence in 1991 and elected nationalist leaders who sought closer ties with the West. However, post-Soviet Georgia faced civil unrest, economic crises, and conflict with separatist regions like Abkhazia and South Ossetia. Despite these difficulties, Georgia has transitioned into a fledgling democracy and pursued integration with NATO and the European Union in the 21st century. Georgia's total population is about 3.7 million people as of 2022, according to World Bank estimates. Ethnically, 
Georgians make up around 86% of the population. The Georgian people have inhabited the Caucasus region for thousands of years, developing their unique language and Christian traditions. Other ethnic minorities include Azeris, Armenians, Russians and Abkhazians. These groups are concentrated in certain regions of Georgia, particularly near the Russian and Armenian borders. For instance, Armenians largely reside in the province of Samtske Javakheti. Religiously, the vast majority of Georgians belong to the Georgian Orthodox Church. Christianity has defined Georgia's national identity since it adopted the faith in the 4th century AD. The Georgian Orthodox Church retains many ancient traditions and rituals. Other religious groups found here include Muslims, Catholics and Armenian Apostolic Christians. Freedom of religion is guaranteed by Georgia's constitution, though the Orthodox Church retains a privileged status. In terms of language, Georgian is the sole official language and the mother tongue for around 80% of the population. It is one of the oldest languages in the world. Spoken, Georgian is unique to the region, with its distinctive alphabet thought to be derived from Aramaic script. Minority languages spoken in Georgia include Azeri, Armenian and Russian. Many Georgians, especially in urban areas, are bilingual and speak Russian as a second language due to Georgia's history within the Russian Empire and Soviet Union. Georgia has transitioned from a centrally planned to a free market economy since gaining independence in 1991. The World Bank estimates its GDP at around $24 billion as of 2022. Key sectors driving economic growth include agriculture, tourism, manufacturing and transportation. Agriculture is a major employer with key exports including wine, citrus fruits and nuts. Georgia's climate allows for both European and subtropical crops. Viticulture in particular is an ancient tradition and Georgian wines are gaining international recognition. Tourism has grown rapidly, showcasing Georgia's mountains, Black Sea coastline, food and wine for international visitors. Georgia aims to become a major regional tourism hub. Industry and manufacturing account for around a quarter of GDP. Automobile assembly, mining and hydropower are also growing sectors. However, they still depend on imports for most machinery and high-tech products. Transportation infrastructure is improving with Georgia's ports, roads and airports facilitating trade and transit between Europe and Asia. Projects like the Baku-Tbilisi Cars Railway help link them with major economies. Georgia's economic reforms and business-friendly policies have attracted foreign investment. Priorities going forward are deeper trade integration, improving education and infrastructure, and continuing to deregulate and privatize state-owned enterprises. Georgia has a rich artistic tradition strongly shaped by its Christian heritage. Georgian Christian architecture represents a distinctive national style. Major examples include the Javari Monastery and Svetitskovili Cathedral from the Middle Ages. Churches are often decorated with stone carvings and feature trademark conical domes and bell towers. Frescoes and mural paintings adorn many Georgian churches and monasteries. The paintings display saints, biblical scenes, and depictions of heaven and hell through a colorful, expressive artistic style inspired by Byzantium. Prominent works include the 11th century murals at Labachina Church and the World Heritage frescoes at Ubisi Monastery. Georgia also developed a tradition of enamel jewelry and metalwork, often with Christian motifs. Other examples of Georgian fine art include stone reliefs, vibrant tapestries and manuscripts with calligraphy and illumination. Georgian cuisine is unique 
and has some interesting flavors thanks to the country's location along the spice route between Europe and Asia. Here are some dishes you can find in Georgia. First up is kachapuri, which is a traditional Georgian cheese-filled bread. The most popular variety is called Ajaruli kachapuri, which is shaped like a boat and has an egg cracked into the middle after it's baked. Next, we have gomi. This is a thick stew made with pork, potatoes and beans. It's simmered for hours until the beans break down and thicken the stew. Spices like coriander, fenugreek and chili pepper give it a robust flavor. Another Georgian favorite is kinkali, which are large dumplings stuffed with spiced meat or cheese. The dumpling dough is gathered into a twisted top knot. Georgian cuisine has so much more to offer beyond these highlights. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos exploring dishes from this unique country. If you enjoyed this video on Georgia, you'll love this next one.